Hello everyone, this is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more Civilization V in our Russian Sunset series. So we had a bit of a setback in the beginning of the last turn, the end of the last episode. The World's Fair was actually voted down in the World, Con in the World Congress. There are the votes. One from Rome, two from Persia, saying nay. I wonder if Persia would have voted differently before I declared war. Interesting thought. But yeah, it was a tie vote, but of course tie votes are not enough to pass resolutions, so... Unfortunately, the World's Fair was not passed. Alright, so... Haley Selassie is happy with our proposal. Ooh, they're attacking my musketmen from all sides here. This could be bad. Alright, these warriors might take a shot. No, they didn't. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna have to push back pretty hard. Hey, Augustus. How you doing? How much cotton do I have left? Yeah, I'll do that. I'm happy to trade with Rome. Salve. It's awesome. Salve means hello. I don't know why I use that as my... as my expression of affirmation. <laughs> Let me use your language in a show of solidarity. Doesn't matter which word. I'm just gonna say something. And it will mean that we are friends. Alright, uh... I'm gonna move this guy just one tile and fortify. I'm gonna blow this guy out of the sky with my cannon. We're gonna let these musketmen do a little bit of damage there. And tell you what, let's just have the cannoneers take out these guys as well. Didn't quite take them out. That's unfortunate. Hang on. Where would be a good trade? Looks like Medina is my best option. Or possibly a city-state. Nope, Medina. Medina it is. This cargo ship is ready as well. Singapore... Uh, okay, Singapore it is again, no problem. Alright, we are back up to 43 gold per turn, quite nice. I am going to bring this unit forward, and we'll have them fortify in the next turn. Let's go ahead and have this unit... ...just fortify. Meanwhile, I'll have this unit move over. Uh, what's going on here? I guess I can build a farm over there, it's gonna take another turn to get there though, no problem. And we're going to do our great tour. Get some tourism with Indonesia. Again, we have a phantom mountain right next to Pasargade. Or Pasargade. However you I don't know why I'm adding the other R in, but it's Pasargade. That's what it's called. I might even change the name of it. Um, hmm. Tell you what, I'm just going to go back to using St. Petersburg for research points. Let's adopt a policy, though. Plus three production in all coastal cities. I am very strongly inclined to say yes there. Yeah, we're going to go for that, because a lot of my cities are coastal. Rostov, St. Petersburg, Novgorod, and of course, Yekaterinburg. And, not, not to be neglected, Yaroslavl is also coastal. Alright, so we have arrived, for the most part, with these musketmen on the mainland. And let's go to the next turn. We're just gonna conquer... Okay, last turn you told me you like my delegation, or my delegation's proposal, or my, uh... uh my proposal to the War Congress, now you're getting mad at me for hating on yours. Make up your mind, brother. Make up your mind. Okay, so they actually do have a defensive unit in Ekbatana, so that's going to put up a little bit more of a fight as we get closer. Well, that's fine. Not uh, concerned about that. We have a road for these units that are on their way in, so that's going to make it really easy to approach the city. Quickly. Which is one of the reasons I decided to go this direction. 
rather than going straight to their capital. Trade route plundered. Wonderful. So we need to establish a new trade route to Bucharest from St. Petersburg. So we got the Ufizi set up. Ufizi, or however you pronounce it. Let's go to the cargo ship. Get that replacement going. I'll go ahead and build the arsenal in Moscow just to make sure there's defenses. A unit needs orders. That unit is already fortified. Let's have this one fortify. Let's have this one just go on alert status. Uh, we'll move this one right here just to get a little bit better vis visibility around the city. Move that one to where the other one was. And... Yeah, our Phantom Mountain is right there, so I can't actually move anything right there. Alright, these are our musketmen. Golden Age is almost over, unfortunately. All right, we can, because we're allied with Prague, we can actually move those units. Oh, good. See, that's how much the road is helping. We're able to go all the way around that quickly. Oh, we got that great artist from the Wonder. Awesome. But yeah, but because we are, because we are allied with Prague, uh, Prague, I'm, I'm never going to say it right. I know the correct pronunciation, but I always second guess myself. Um, we can move through their territory. So starting a golden age. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to do that. Because I want more turns on my Golden Age. It's already had one going, and I just added turns to it. And we're just going to wait a few turns for our units to heal up. Yeah, this unit's getting getting shredded. Oh, they're gone. What are you guys doing? You should have just stayed home. That didn't make any sense, that move. Bucharest liked the fact that we built that wonder, so that's helpful. Okay, we could start bombarding them in this coming turn, so I think I'm going to do that. I guess we'll go ahead and give them something to shoot at. I want that I don't want them to just have the option of shooting at my cannons. If I'm moving my cannons into the defensive range of the city, I also want to start moving my foot soldiers in. Alright, this unit's fortified. Perfect. Next turn. No. So yeah, they have a lot to shoot at now. And they're going to shoot at my cannon. Of course they are. Of course they are. Wow. Okay, they just did a crap ton of damage to my cannon. That's a surprising amount of damage. But I have two more that are going to be able to take shots this coming turn. Shut up, I don't want to hear your voice. <laughs> I know, I'm so harsh, but I, I genuinely, it is nails on a chalkboard. It, I have nothing against that leader, that civilization. It is just that voice and those particular words and that inflection. Uh, just, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's just, I don't like it. We all have certain sounds and, uh, and voices that grate on us for no explicable reason. This is mine. All right, I'm going to move this cannon back one tile and have them fortify. I'm going to move this cannon forward one tile. Surprise! I'm 
and we have these musket men on their way in. Uh, let's go back to research in St. Petersburg. Hmm. Research in Nova Road, promote a unit. Oh, cool. Rough terrain, medic bonus. And let's have you move up. All right, was it uh, Bucharest that I had a, uh, a trade deal with? Antonin Arrivo would actually be a better deal. So let's go with that. I'm going to upgrade that composite bowman to a crossbowman. Any other upgrades waiting for me? I cannot wait in Civ 6 for scouts to be uh, upgradable into different units. They have really, really cool upgrades if you manage to keep them alive for a while. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the next turn. These guys are slowly regaining health. Interesting, they want to give us Ekbatana. We're going to say no. I'm going to go ahead and conquer Persia. Because they will help me rule the World Congress. If I... Oh, they didn't fire on my cannons that time. They're going to regret that. I'm probably going to take Ekbatana this turn. Um, but yeah, if I can take control of their wonder... I will have a much easier time having control over the World Congress and getting votes passed because they have an additional two delegates based on the wonders that they have built. I don't see the wonder, but it's there. I know it is. It's in this city. Cape Town is under attack. That's nice. Yaroslav can fire on an enemy. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, and let's do a trade post there. Okay, it's time. Let's, uh... Make them regret they were born. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. We're going to annex the city. We are going to build a courthouse. And we're going to start moving these musket men up this direction. There's a method to my madness there with that move that I just made. Just trust me. Meanwhile, the courthouse in Pasargade is done, is going to be done in eight turns, so we're going to get some happiness back once that occupation ends. We actually have a pretty nice happiness um, buffer right now, so that's helping us with this war. Of course, in Civilization VI, there is actual war weariness uh, that affects your individual city's population's happiness, which, which I'm, I'm really excited about. Let's see. We got some happiness back there as well on account of having the cities connected to the capital. How are they connected? Oh, Ekbatana's got a harbor. That's very cool. All right, let's go ahead and just put Moscow's production back into research as well. We can finally upgrade this unit here. We're going to upgrade that one as well. There are full caravels now. Another unit needs orders. Oh, supposedly there's a worker. All right, come out here and repair that farm, please. This musketman needs to heal. And now we're going to get some of our cannons into position to fire on their capital relatively quickly. We're going to have them fortify. It's going to take a bit for our entire army to position itself to attack the capital. But we should be able to turn it around pretty quickly. Okay, is that... Okay, good. That's not quite in range. I'm going to fortify there.
It is turned 285, 1830 AD, as the Russian conquest of Persia is occurring here. Harun al-Rashid has completed Porcelain Tower. Economics is about to be finished, so we're going to need to build in all of our cities again. I currently have a lot of cities dedicated to research. That's going to change for a bit while we get these windmills built. Actually, windmills are not going to go up everywhere. St. Petersburg is... Well, St. Petersburg can have one. Moscow can't have one. Neither can Novgorod. So maybe just one windmill will go up, because they need to be on flat land. Okay. There's actually not a lot left to do over here. Let's bring the worker down here to this area and have them start building up the area around that newly captured city. It's not quite ours yet, but it's almost there. All right, we're going to build a mine on that hilltop next turn. And we're going to have you just go on alert status. Same with you. We're going to have you fortify. Again, we have a phantom mountain. Uh, actually, a couple of phantom mountains. These are both phantom mountains right here. Which is why the terrain shading looks funny. All right, we're going to move this unit up this direction. Fortify you. Windmill, definitely, in Yaroslavl. Actually, wait, hang on. Was that the next logical choice? Uh, yeah, actually it was. Open tech tree. Let's go ahead and go for navigation so we can finish our renaissance tech. And we are going to be turn we're going to be able to turn on Persepolis very very soon. And they they have not really had any defensive force to speak of. We have just steamrolled them. We have a pretty good relationship with Indonesia. We actually are already becoming culturally influential over them. So there's an argument for maybe not conquering them as well, but we could get Imperial... Oh, no! There must be a city under siege. Oh, yeah, St. Petersburg is under siege. Not anymore. Problem solved. That's funny that a missionary was able to blockade my port. That doesn't quite make sense. Not sure I'm a fan of that logic. This is looking pretty good. We have armies just lined up. Let's go to the next turn. And I would imagine we can just move on Persepolis in the in the coming turn or two. We should have it before this episode is over. And Susa will become the new capital, of course. <sighs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You're actually giving me a good offer, so I have to listen to your voice. Uh, fine. Bal. <laughs> I'm so mean. I'm sorry. It's... It's just... Ugh. I feel so bad about it that it makes me so angry, like, that, I, that I'm so hateful toward it. But it's just... I can't stand it. <laughs> I genuinely can't. Okay, uh... Okay, this unit's done healing. We're gonna bring them all the way up here. Thankful for that road right now. Oh, there's that mine. The city connection's been reestablished. Very good. We're gonna build a farm there. And we're gonna go to the next turn again. How much cotton do I have left? I don't I don't really want iron though. I don't I don't want or need iron, so no. No, no, and no. Thank you. Research agreement. Carthage and Ethiopia have signed a research agreement. We're 21 turns away from the World's Fair. And coincidentally, if you're watching this live, we're three days away from Civ 6. Haha. <laughs> Surprise. All right, let's go ahead and move this unit into place. We now have our cannons ready. In the next turn, I am going to start moving forward. Let's get these sheep in the next turn. We'll take care of them. Awesome. We now have a really good line of sight on the entire Persian capital.
plundered a caravan automatically, so we got some free gold there. Because the caravan just stupidly walked into my soldier. <laughs> Arabia and the Ottomans have signed a research agreement. All right, so I'm guessing the AI is feeling a little bit threatened by my technological progress because I was not second place a while ago and now I'm catching up. So now they seem to be doing things to compensate. All right, let's go ahead and build a lumber mill there. The game's telling me to build a farm, but no, we're going to do a lumber mill. The Golden Age is over. That is unfortunate. Singapore. Can I do better than Singapore? I bet I can. No, I can't. Singapore is actually pretty good. 15 gold per turn. I could do Quebec City. We're going to do Singapore. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and move on these units. I'm going to pillage that die tile just to take a resource away from them. Okay. And in the next turn, we should be able to do a lot of damage to Persepolis. They don't have any defensive unit. They, again, they have not really mounted a defense against me. This is this was a really cruel war that I declared. <laughs> oh, our courthouse is almost done in Pasargada. That's excellent. Six turns away in Ekbatana. So, actually, I need to change that city to production focus, and it might be done even sooner. That is good news. And I also completely, I just remembered I need to get the windmill set up in, uh, I think in Moscow is where it's needed. No, not in Moscow, but in, uh, is it St. Petersburg? Yep, St. Petersburg. I don't think I can do it in Moscow. No, I can't. It's not flat ground. But I can now build things here. So let's go ahead and get... A Q started. Circus, definitely. Library, definitely. Shrine. Followed by... Actually, that's the wrong order. Let's do that. And let's also get you to production focus. Boom! Instant faster stuff. How about... Yep. Shave to turn off the courthouse there as well. Very handy. Now, let's go ahead and start... Oh, wait, no. We're not going to fire with you just yet. But we are going to fire with all of your buddies. Just kidding. No, we're not. Because of the hill. Oh, that's annoying. All right. I had a feeling that would be a thing. So we're going to actually have to move all of these cannons over a little bit. We now have Persepolis surrounded. We're going to pillage and fortify. Fortify, fortify, actually wait, pillage, and fortify. I want to get that unit healed up. Uh, I don't really need to build anything here. I guess we'll go for the Opera House. Yeah, now we're going to start firing on Persepolis with any units that, uh, well... See, any any unit that attacks the city right now is going to take a ton of damage. I'd rather just have them be fortified around the city while they've got it surrounded like this. Because there, remember, there are medic units mixed in here too. Can't quite fire yet, but I might be able to from that tile. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, 
Uh, got a camp built on both of those deer, all three of the deer nearby, actually. I do need to get a uh, work boat out there. And let's go ahead and buy that so we can build a mine on top of it, and that'll be a little bit better. There we go. We have a cannon that can actually do something useful. And let's go to the next turn. I thought we'd have it conquered this episode, but we're at the end mark here. I think I'm going to go ahead and, before I cut this episode, we're going to conquer Persepolis. Because it just, it doesn't feel right cutting the episode before this happens. Oh, they just got a great scientist. Lucky for them. I'm about to kill their city. Actually, I think all four of my cannons are in range now, if I'm looking at this correctly. This one's definitely in range. This one should be in range because... They've got a line between two tiles here. Let's pull the hex up so you can see. I just realized I've got the hex off. Um, but because... Oh, okay, I was showing them something. Thanks, game. Um, because this area of the firing plane is flat, that should allow them a shot. Yep. Oh, we actually might not get the city. We might not get the city. This is going to be close. Nope, we didn't quite get it. Oh, but I have one more cannon that can fire. Ah, oh, man. That's obnoxious. Could I maybe charge in? Nope, no one has a move left. That was really dumb. I completely forgot about one cannon. All right, fine. Well, we would have had it captured. We're going to do it next turn. Workboat. Uh, <laughs> uh, mine, I guess. What are you alerted to? Oh, there's an enemy ship there. Interesting. Good night. That was an old school ship they're just fighting with. Next turn. We're going to conquer this capital if it's the last thing we do. No. They're trying to make peace. Alright, so they just managed to kill my musketmen. Because again, I was counting on... I... Man, I, I was going into it knowing that I had four cannons ready to fire, and then I only fired three. Just not paying attention. Stupid mistake. So I attacked with that musketman, thinking that I had done my maximum cannon damage. So I knew that I could risk bringing his life down that low, and now I lost a unit. That's very frustrating. I'm not sure if that unit was particularly experienced. We'll see. But now we're going to make them pay for that crap. We're going to bring an experienced musketman unit in, and have them come in and take the capital. Gimme! Annex the city, and then we are going to move on Susa quickly. Let's go ahead and take care of some moves. Actually, you're just going to fortify till healed. So are you. So are you. So are you, and this unit can just move up. We did get a great general, which is handy. And on that note, I will go ahead and cut this episode here. In the next one, we are going to finish off Persia and then see what we can do about making the World Congress happen. We're probably going to go through some turns pretty quickly. This courthouse is almost done, so we're going to get some happiness back from that city as well. We are getting some new, fresh unhappiness from having conquered this area, but we've just expanded the Russian Empire quite drastically this episode. It's been fun. And it's Tuesday if you're watching this live, so we have three episodes to go, or really just two to go. There's two more after this one, Wednesday and Thursday, and then this series will be replaced by Civilization and Civ 6. So we're almost done with this series. We're not going to play it through to completion, but we just want to get through as much of the game as we can. Um, and I've really, really been enjoying it. If you have any questions about the comparison between Civ 5 and Civ 6, feel free to ask them in the comments below. 
I will be uploading new episodes in this series as per usual at noon Eastern Daylight Time, which is GNG minus four for those of you not in the States. And comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next episode.